What we have here is a very rare piece from 1932 from the Gretchen Company. It's called the 21. It's based on the game of card playing of blackjack or pontoon. And the idea is, is you put a coin in here, pull this lever down, it spins the reels, and you've got to try and get as close or beat the house value on the end there. It's called 21, 1932, and we're going to have a quick play of this to see how it plays. It's a very simple game. It doesn't pay out coins. It's a skill machine that used to sit on bars, and you would have to, if you wanted any payouts, you would show the bartender what your score was, and he would pay you in drinks or other values. It does, however, conform to a vending machine because of the laws at the time. And down in the bottom is the gumball release. And every time you put a coin in, it releases a gumball automatically. Now, on this particular model, it's missing the little door that sits on the front of this. And it's that that, when you lift up, will trigger the gumball to come out. So let's have a quick play of this. It does take the old uh, penny coins, and so we drop the coin in. And there you can see we have our two hands of cards, are the 9 and the 6. So that gives us 15. Now we have a choice here, because down here you have some little switches. And you can see as we pull the lever down, the 3 numbers here were covered over and I can choose to either draw another card by flicking this or I can just view the house hand. Now I've got 15 I'm going to take a gamble and see if I can get closer to 21. Yep I've got a 2 so I've now got 17. At this point I'm going to keep it on that and I'm going to see what the dealer's got and if we have a look Beat 15, and there you got is I've got a winner, I've beaten the dealer. Now the good thing about this, if we uh, play again, you'll see how ingenious the mechanism is. So, coin in, spin it, we've now got a 7 and a 5, so we've now got 12. If I decide not to draw any more card values, and show the house beat 21, these two switches no longer work. So you can't release the house card and then cheat by releasing these once you've made your decision. That's how you play the 21 skills game. We're going to have a look at the back of this one and we've taken the back panel off and we're also going to take the front off and we're going to play the mechanism so you can see how it actually works. So we're going to take the front off and this lifts out on there. So there you can see the front and this is the ingenious part of covering over the first three reels. Now if we take a look at this mechanism, it's a very simplistic one. Here's your windows up here. And if I release the switches on the front, it releases these. There's the five windows. And basically, when you pull the lever down, it pushes on here. And as you push, it pushes the three windows up and locks them into place. When the switches on the front are released, they drop down and they've just got some springs down here that pull the tension of these covers down. And here's the inside of the mechanism. Here's the back and if we just turn it round, we can see the front. And you can see there's not much in here. Let's first of all start over here. So this is where the gumballs are loaded on the left hand side. 
Now the gumballs roll down here and this has to drop and the way this drops is there's a little release catch over here and you can see that the release catch just here gets released when a lever is pulled. This is going to spin and it's going to release. And if I do that again, you'll see that as this gets pulled across, when you pull the lever, this will drop down and a gumball will sit in the cup. Like that. Now the clever thing about this is how does it reset? Because to reset this, it's not done by the mechanism, but it's done by the little door of the gumball front. So when you lift the door up to take the gumball out, as you lift up, this lifts up and gets clicked back into its locking position.